Driverless vehicles have been a big talk at the CES conventions over the past few years, and this year is no exception. I'm here with Delphi, and they are putting out this beautiful vehicle that I'm standing in front of right now, and I'm here with John Absmere, who's going to be telling me all about this vehicle. Johnny Abs, tell me about this vehicle. What do you think? Thanks, Miles. This is uh, Delphi's automated driving Audi SQ5. We call it Delphi Drive. Uh, really, it's a development platform that enables us to uh, bring new automated driving technologies to market. So what we've tried to do is incorporate multiple sensors around the car. We have about 20 sensors on it, including radar, uh, forward vision, LiDAR, uh, vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communications, as well as GPS. The car can function in both uh, uh, lower uh, end automated features like traffic jams all the way up to urban driving. Okay, and where are some of those sensors on the vehicle right now? Because I don't see them. There's no big balls or anything sticking out. Right, so we've incorporated uh, production grade sensors, so a lot of them are hidden behind the fascias of the car, which is what, like we do in production. In fact, in 1999, Delphi launched the first adaptive cruise control system on uh, Jaguar with a mechanically scanning radar. We've now come several generations further, and we have electronically scanning radar which hide behind the fascias of the car. Uh, the vision system is up in the windshield, as you can see there. Okay, yeah, and that vision system is how you're able to detect pedestrians or stop signs and stop lights and everything like that, correct? Absolutely right, and the car uses lane markings and things like that to figure out wh where it needs to be at any given time. Okay, and now what if something covers the lens, like if a mud splash covers it or something like that, you're driving through rough terrains or there's like a sign blocking it, what do you do then? That's a great question, we call that occlusion. So if the camera's blocked, obviously it doesn't provide useful information. So we have to rely on other sensors in that case. Uh, one of those might be vehicle to infrastructure. So in the case of a traffic light, if the camera can't see it, a wireless communication from the traffic light could be sent to the car and tell it whether it's red, yellow, or green. Okay, and, and also I noticed, you showed me the back of the car earlier, uh, generally most driverless vehicles, they're real clunky, there's a lot of big things, it looks like when you open up the back, you can gun this thing to 88, go back in time. That's not the case, back here, th there's nothing back there. That's right, Miles, there's no flex capacitor there, it's an empty trunk, uh, you can put luggage in it, use it just like a regular car. All the electronics are integrated as if it's a production vehicle. It's very much a soccer mom vehicle with attitude. I like it. It's great style. Thank you so much for telling us everything about this car, John. I really want one now. All right, let's go for a ride. Let's do it. For more videos from the CES convention, go to popsci.com, or for the entire CES show, go to portico.tv.